Oh my god everyone, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning a lot. Before we continue with the video, guys, it's very helpful for the Oh Math God community, uh, for the channel in general to grow, if you hit that like and that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell, that way every single time Oh Math God uploads a new video, you are watching it first. Okay, guys, let's begin. <laughs> Oh my god. Hello guys, welcome. So today's video is about transforming a fraction into a terminating decimal. Let's begin. So in this video, we're going to be doing these two problems, very basic ones as well. So we have to remember that the terminating decimals are rational numbers, and these rational numbers are fractions. So in this case, the two rational numbers we're going to be seeing are 11 divided by 50 and 41 divided by 5. Since they are rational numbers, we can express them as these fractions, but we can also express them as terminating decimals. So the first problem is going to be 11 divided by 50. Again, we have to identify the numerator and the denominator. And we have to remember, guys, we're always going to divide the numerator by the denominator. We can do it this way or we can also do it the other way. So we can do it this way as well. It doesn't matter which way you choose to do the problem. You just have to remember that you're dividing the top by the bottom. So again, 11 divided by 50, that's going to be 0. 0 times 50 is 0. 11. Then we add a comma, so that's 110, divided by 50, that's 2. 2 times 50, that's 100. We subtract, and that gives us 10. And then we add a 0, because the comma is already here, so we can add 0. So 100 divided by 50, that's 2. 2 times 0, it's 0, and 2 times 5 is 10. When we subtract, we get, or again, we get a remainder of 0. Guys, because this remainder here is 0, we have to know that this number right here is going to be our terminating decimal. A terminating decimal, again, has a finite number of digits. So in this case, we have two digits after the decimal comma, and because the remainder is 0, we don't have to repeat them. Let's continue with another problem. So the second problem right here is 41 divided by 5. So again, we identify the numerator, we identify the denominator, and we begin dividing. So the numerator, 41, divided by the denominator, which is 5, is going to give us 41 divided by 5, that's 8. 8 times 5, that's 40. We subtract, and that gives us 1. Because we have finished dividing here, but we still have a remainder, we can add a comma. So it's 10 divided by 5, and that is 2, because 2 times 5 is 10. And we subtract. And again, we have a 0. Whenever we have a remainder of 0, guys, please, please make sure that you classify that decimal as a terminating decimal, because it has a finite number of digits after the decimal comma or the decimal position. And that's pretty much it, guys. So in this practice we did, we solved two problems of fractions that are rational fractions, of course, and we're transforming them into terminating decimals. So again, identify the numerator, the denominator, divide. And when you reach that zero remainder, you know you are trying problems and solving problems with terminating decimals. So, guys, feel free to rewatch the video and redo the practices, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills, and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.